<laughs> oh, holy crap! I've loved cars ever since I was a little kid, and cars have always been a massive part of my life. But growing up, funny enough, I grew up with Lamont because he lives across the road from me. We both used to debate cars and spot cars on the road and everything, but we were never into Porsches as a kid. At the time when I was growing up in the early 2000s, Porsche wasn't really killing it with their cars. <laughs> But since working around cars and because I've worked in the car industry now and I work full time as a car photographer, I've fallen in love with Porsches and what the brand represents. You know, having fun with your car and efficiently using power, which is the backbone of the company. So recently I have been working with Porsche and specifically Porsche and a Doncaster who's sponsoring today's video. It is the snow season. We are in winter right now in Australia. And yes, we, we get snow in Australia. That's, that's That happens here. So we've organized a 29 KN E hybrid. I'm gonna go pick it up now and then I've got to pick up the boys because we're heading up to the snow tonight. Who I'm getting a call from. Hey bro. Hey bro, what's going on? Not too much. What are you doing? I just picked up the car. It's sick, bro. I'm driving it on the freeway right now in full electric mode because it's got two modes. <gasps> really? I'm about to go pick up Liam and then I'm going to go pick up Lamont and then I'll be yours yeah, in about an hour, bro, I reckon. That's all right. No worries. What, um, what, what's like the craziest car that you've ever shot in your life? Hmm, probably the Koenigsegg CCXR. You've shot a Koenigsegg? Koenigsegg? Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg. A funny cunny Koenigsegg. What did Porsche say to us when like we were gonna do this thing? They said as long as you're having fun, that's what we like to see. That's so sad. And shine. Go on. Oh yeah, cheers, brother. You're yeah. a great friend. We're going to the snow. <laughs> you even said let's get up earlier. You know that you're a wanker? The sun doesn't actually rise until 7 a.m. But I want to get up to the mountain pretty quickly. I don't know what I'm Yeah, I organize a Porsche, pay for an Airbnb, I get you dinner, yeah. and I drive us up to the mountain because I wake up early, I'm an asshole. Yeah. Fuck, I can't do anything right. right. Mounds of it here, far out. God damn it, Lake Mountain, why do you have to put a gate here for fuck's sake? It says it opens at 8 a.m. That's ridiculous. What do you mean? What if I want to go skiing and I'm, and I'm paid? You want to ski in the black? <laughs> yeah, in the black, not the night. It's the black. We used a negative situation and we turned it into a positive. Lamont noticed that it looks awesome because the KN lights are so strong. We've got the high beams on right now and you can see the rain's falling in front of it. And Lamont's like, oh, this would be a cool shot of someone standing in front of it. What it looks like, bro. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, we'll come back in two hours. Do you want to do a night flare, bro? We may as well whilst we're here. But where are we going to do it? Dude. I reckon just send it in the middle of the road. Not on this road. I reckon if we just go to like the dead end where we just were, oh, I reckon, yeah, yeah if because there's no cars that yeah, yeah, ever yeah. go. Yeah, done. All right, done. Let's go. I'll turn, I'll turn the car around. We're about to draw a lot of attention. Hopefully no one comes up here because technically doing these flare things. Is it illegal? I'm pretty sure it is. There's literally no one around. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be all right. We're thinking about driving the car down this snow track to do the flare shot. Living in Australia, it's not that common for me to drive on the snow. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what, what is good and what is not. Like, there's car tracks here. You can see the road. That's why yeah. I think it would be okay. But I don't know. What if there's like a... What if the car just doesn't like it and then just gets stuck? Because we have had experiences in the past where yeah. we've driven on some terrains and we've got cars stuck. I don't know, man. It's a it's a brand new four wheel drive. If this four wheel drive cannot manage that, I will be surprised. Porsche, it's your fault if we get stuck. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, doing good so far. Far out. This feels weird to drive, bro. I reckon we park it right here, bro. Yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Mate, 
course, you better pay me double the money for doing this. Double odd. <laughs> There's snow on the road from about 8 k's up the road, and when you get to the car park, it's quite slippery, so okay. be careful when you get out of the car. No worries. No worries. Thanks, guys. See you later. You See ya. We will. So right now, there's all this fog in the woods, so we've parked the KN just in front of the trees here. Have a look at this, mate, honestly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, hopefully there's no cars coming down where we are. Yeah, smile and wave. Smile and wave. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best one, I can't get upset at you yeah. smiling and waving. I've got the 105 mil on right now, it stops down to 1.4, but I'm gonna shoot this on 2.8 because I want the front and the back of the car in focus. Probably go back quite far and there's like heaps of puddles around. I just stepped on one before so my feet are soaked. I'm gonna stand probably around there and I'm gonna shoot on 2.8 and adjust my shutter speed and ISO accordingly. Because it's the daytime, I probably don't need to go anything over 200 ISO. What? Dude, the fog. I know, the like... trees in the back. I just asked Liam to turn around because I want to do the exact same photo but the rear taillights because the main update on all the new Porsches actually across all of their range is that back end. So I really want to... I don't even know. I don't have a big enough word to really describe what I want to do right now. We're just going to shoot the back end. <laughs> exaggerate it. Yeah, exaggerate. That's probably a good word. Straight up the line. Left hand down. All in life. <laughs> so there's this photographer called Aaron Brimball and he's like this crazy photographer originally from Australia I'm pretty sure and now he lives over in the States and he does like a whole bunch of cool stuff I get a, a, like a lot of inspiration for my photography and especially like these kind of road trips from him he uploaded this set recently where they got this G-Wagon and they drifted it around in the mud and then he Aaron was like holding like a Perspex board and then all the mud was flicking up back into the camera and I wanted to try that but do it with the snow in this car but I don't know how this car drifts like obviously it's got the power to drift but I don't know obviously the conditions up there what it's like to drift in the snow I know there's a massive car park up in Lake Mountain to do this but it's probably gonna be the hardest part of the shoot today and the one photo that I definitely want to try and make. Absolutely nothing this time. Last time we shot here, this is the exact road where we did that flare shot, like literally right behind me. And as you can see, there's just, yeah, there's not enough snow. Please be snow. Please be snow at the car park. Oh, please be snow at the car park. Yes! Yes, it's full! Yes, it's full! Holy shit, look, it's full of snow! Oh, yes! It's perfect, baby! Okay, start the car. Let's go, yep! Sport Plus mode. Yep! Tighten the springs. Traction control off. Rock mode. Lock the diff. All right, let's do this. That's cool. Oh. 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 Oh, it's so filthy. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's oh, yes. so right, how are you boys feeling about that shoot? Yeah. Feel good? Well, yeah. it's like six hours later. Yeah, that yeah. shoot was such a grind. I'm just keen for a pie right now. <laughs> Same, I'm so keen for a pie. <laughs> I've learned one thing from this photo shoot, it's that I need a KN. I don't want one, 
I need one. This is like a base model KN, you gotta remember. I know it's the e-hybrid version, so it's a little bit higher up in the hierarchy of KNs, but you've still got the KNS and then the Turbo and then the Turbo S, which I'm still yet to experience, and I've heard those things are just ridiculous. But still, a five-seater SUV, this thing pulls like a freight train. It's so luxurious, it's so comfortable, it's so easy to drive, and it's so much fun to drive as well, because when you gear down, you put your foot down, it gets up and fucks off, and it's amazing. <laughs> but anyway, the shoot started out a bit ugly because it was really early in the morning, and we were all still really tired and groggy, and we all hadn't really woken up yet, and the gate was closed to get up to the actual mountain, so we couldn't even photograph a long exposure shot, which originally was what I wanted to do, right? But Le Mans spot that all these like wasn't quite rain and it wasn't quite snow it was like a little medium i don't know it was like half it's like sludge like falling from the sky but it was really thick rain i don't I don't know if that's a thing. And it looked like an awesome shot. So we each got a photo in front of the lights there. We turned the high beams on. So it's not just the headlights. It's like the really bright lights in pitch black. Just gives an awesome backlight. And the rain's just, I guess it's just a bonus for the photo. And then we were going to go get breakfast. And we were heading back down the mountain. And Liam was like, nah, fuck it. I brought some night flares. So we did that. And these photos are awesome. I was actually thinking of using one of these as a thumbnail for this video. But I don't know. I don't know what I... What I actually chosen at this point. I shot all of these photos on the Sigma 40mm. It's just been released. What an amazing lens, honestly. So sharp, so much detail, even out of 1.4. And then it was time we, we drove up into the mountain and we were the only ones there because it was like Tuesday morning and 8 o'clock. We pretty much had the whole mountain to ourselves and we shot with the woods in the background. These photos just look so cinematic because there's so much fog in the background. It looks like there's a massive fog machine just going... <laughs> and pushing all this fog into the trees there. And then you have the KN, which just looks so perfect with that colorway, the dark gray and the green calipers in the snow. Yeah, very cinematic. Usually most snow roads, especially here in Australia, it's much more common in America, but you have we have yellow lines here if, the, if roads get icy or they have snow on them, so you can see where the road sort of ends. We parked the car over the middle of the yellow line and it's just a great contrast between the car the rest of the snow there and then the yellow line on the ground. And then later we actually headed up to the top of the mountain there. There was a there was just a car park that was also empty. We were all outside the car, so I didn't have anyone to press the brake because everyone was doing their own thing. So I stuck my tripod um, into the car. I got it to push down the brake and it just gently rested it against the seat. I don't know, there's just something about shooting cars with brake lights on. I think it just gives the car a bit more character. I always shoot cars with the lights on because it just makes the car come alive. No matter if it's daytime or night, time just always have the lights on when you shoot a car and then the finale the photo we've all been waiting to see if i was to shoot this photo again um i'd probably try and stand back a bit further and i and i might try to shoot it with like a 105 mil and stand right back and photograph the car from a distance this shot was really hard to set up and liam was taking these photos so we had it on manual focus because i think that if we had it on autofocus the camera would have started getting confused and trying to shoot the particles instead of the car so we had it on manual focus but it was really hard to get the same angle because the ground was very unpredictable we still got some awesome photos out of it and the aftermath of it was sick as well of the way the car looks i think that that's actually honestly one of my favorite photos from the entire shoot was just how the car looked afterwards because it's exactly how a four-wheel drive should look. And it handled amazingly. The KN, I want one. I actually want one. No, no, I said I need one. I need one. I need a KN. Porsche, I need a KN. If you are interested in looking for a new model and I would highly recommend getting a KN after this photo shoot, go check out Porsche Center Doncaster. I will leave their Instagram and their details right here. For all these photos that you saw, I used my car presets to edit these photos, mainly actually using Cars Night. I found that Cars Night worked quite well well with the scenery. In my pack, they come with 20 presets. They also individually have a tutorial to show you exactly how to use it and what kind of photos to use them on. So if you do want to get those, you can head over to streamline.store or they're linked in my description down below there. I hope I taught you something new today. I know I definitely learned something new. If you did like this video, leave a like down below and help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>